All right, welcome back, everybody. We are still down in the lower brackets. However, we are moving on to round number three as far as our maps coming up. And it's going to be Fox going up against Bishop Duberg. Uh, we have not had a chance to see Bishop Duberg yet. So nope. uh, Fox, you know, had that reverse sweep against them uh, at the hands of Francis Howell. And now they're fighting for their tournament lives here, Tiny. Yeah, I mean, this is a very important match for both of these teams so far. So Bishop, as you can see, dropped down from the, uh, I believe that's the St. Charles uh, varsity squad, actually. The St. Charles Cyber Crosshairs, uh, to or Corsairs, excuse me. I can read, I promise. Warriors, though, we did get to see their match uh, in the beginning of the day, and that was probably the closest one we've seen to date. And they have an incredibly high skill level when it comes to their decision making, and of course, the individual talent that they have as well. So, we're going to see that put to the test here. One of these teams, once again, will be eliminated, making this game ever the more important. Yep, and I mean, we see how Bishop Cavaliers got here, uh, and they, they lose, uh, you know, in a pretty close match. But Fox, you know, they took out Kirksville in the first round of the lower bracket, and now here we are in the second round of the lower bracket. Third round games and maps here. We're going to start out in Germany and Eichenwalde, then we'll go to Oasis for our control map. And if we need it, we will get Esperanza, and Fox do not want to remember Esperanza whatsoever because that's where they lost it all. Not, not pretty. Not, Esperanza, not the map uh, that you would like to get started on. But that that was their uh, JV squad. So Warriors now will be moving on to start on Eichenwald, which, you know, starting on a hybrid map, much different than a push. Of course, all of these players are pretty warmed up, playing at least two to three rounds so far today. So, I mean, you're going to get ready to head into this with a fresh set of hands and hopefully some good ideas for what compositions you're going to go ahead and pull out. Of course, get a look at the Fox Senior High Warriors once again. It is Mango, Gnarly Harbor, Rogue, Tippic, and Nano Reed, uh, where for the Bishop Duborg, they will have Xavier, BTWB, Rocket, Linky, and Blue Phoenix. Well, I mean, we remember uh, from our first match uh, how good Mango was on the Baptiste. I mean, got a lot of work done. They had really great amp matrices coming through. Uh, we saw Nano Reed pretty much exclusively on the Bastion. So, I mean, coming out with the soldier look here, I like it defensively. Uh, it gives you a lot of mobility, a lot of ability to reposition yourself quickly. And you've got that spot dealing with the Bionic Field. So, uh, I mean, Mango uh, actually not playing on the Baptiste this time. It's going to be okay. Tippett, who we saw on the, on the Lucio primarily in their first round matchup. So no speed, this could be a problem. Yeah, ugh, I, mm, this really could be an issue, especially when we start to turn our eyes to Bishop Duborg here. So they're also not running any speed, but also a far out with no mercy. And uh, you can tell Blue Phoenix already taking a decent chunk of damage. We'll have to play much more careful throughout this series, but again, because neither of them are on speed, theoretically, it should be even, but you don't have the same amount of span damage as you do throw a rogue on this junk rat here. So Gnarly Warrior is allowed to get aggressive, using the immortality field to their advantage, but Sox still in a very dangerous spot. I mean, the healing is there, B2, uh, we're gonna see, you know, what this uh, is gonna bring out here for Tippic. Like, Tippic is gonna have to be the initiator here, it's gonna have to be the main source of those heals, but Mango keeping, actually keeping pace with a Baptiste, ah. that is not easy to do. No, not at all, especially when you only have that one shot of healing. Plus, I mean, it often will say that on a Baptiste can be too much healing in a way. So the fact that Mango is able to keep pace with this and try to heal them out is something, but a nade chucked into the midst of Fox Senior High. That's two of their players gone on down. Gnarly Arbor though, managed to trade both of it out. Mango doing an excellent job of keeping the tank alive right now. Nano boost already built up, plus the Riptire. Fox Senior High, they have 100% of the resources to hold on to this point, but the Riptire doesn't get the elimination. Rocket is easily able to back out and get healed up here. I mean, uh, nanolation, uh, question mark? Yeah, you're waiting for it right now. It yeah, it has to be a nanolation, and they don't have anything to defend against. I mean, I guess, no. uh, you know, with this coalescence, it can actually really counteract and massive burst healing coming through. Yeah, 
I mean, even that can be a stretch here. I mean, this Nano Annihilation is essentially a free fight win. I mean, look at that BWD. Oh, that's casual. Triple kill for the Ramatra. Tactical nuke from Rocket. Yeah, that will trade it out a little bit. But, I mean, look how aggressive Gnarly Harbor is. Out of the sidelines with their supports. Barely sneaking back to receive healing from Mango and Tippic. And just the sheer amount of sustain that Fox Senior High has put out has kept them in control. Okay, so you're, you're looking now at the blue Phoenix Tac Visor. You've got the uh, you've got the artillery strike ready to go from DT. So I mean, you've got some options here, oh. and there's a big kill. Yep, big opening. Exactly what Bishop needed, and they got to push that advantage. That's the Tac Visor on out. That will be the end of Fox Senior High's hold here on the first point of Eichenwald, and are going to look to set themselves up in the castles. The contest is out of the picture. Uh, looks like Rogue going over to a Symmetra now. So, I mean, you're going to have the ability to reposition very quickly. I like that. You've got the Tac Visor as well. I love that. Uh, but, I mean, still, I, I think that, you know, the overhealing that's coming from Tippic and from Mango, uh, the Nanolation was the perfect counter uh, to what was coming in. So, I think that they've got the right idea here. I just think the DPS is just a little bit off right now. You're just on a completely different... You're on a very different composition, right? And it's not the end of the world when you start to look like at the Symmetra. You have the mobility to get up and down from the high ground, but you don't exactly have that support from above. So you play to the advantage of the range where your tank can walk in. You have the long range heals from Mango and everybody else just follows suit. This is how Fox Senior High are going to be able to set themselves up here just on the gates of the icon. It looks like Xavier's gone over to uh, over to the Iyaki, so I mean, Ooh. as long as you All can... Right. Yeah, as long as you can get this, uh, as long as you can get the pylon into a good position, there's going to be so much sustain here. Ooh, I mean, this is, I like that swap a lot. Not only with that oh, extra, no, no. like, oh, that, that had to be an accident. I don't think that they were close to getting the D-Mech. All right, tactical loop out of the picture. Rocket, less than ideal, but all right, you go ahead and move on and face the uh, slew of ultimates that are about to be chucked of your direction, first of which being that photon barrier where Bishop, at this point, just don't peek it. Turn around, you've already lost your period, don't peek this. Don't make this more painful than it already has to be. So that DMAC Billy, not a good look. Rogue is actually starting to turn it around here. They're starting to get more frontline initiation with the Symmetra. I love that. Where they were playing before up on the high ground, was not ideal. But now getting Symmetra down there, getting that beam charged up and really starting to lay in to Bishop Duborg. I mean, they, they, they have their work cut out for them here. It's a two ultimate or three ultimate fight coming in from both sides. This one's about to get a whole lot of messy though. The switch even over to the Winston, trying to make this dive a more practical approach, but into a full charge Symmetra and Darley Harbor who's got you in their sights. Speaking of sights though, Blue Phoenix. Still alive, managed to get the trade out for one. Yes, the spawns are long, that's gonna help, but when you don't have that tank to help get you through the trope, immediately swapping over to the Reinhardt, a much better selection in this scenario, and one that's actually gonna grant them the liberty of taking away those turrets and rogue. Massive swap. Lots of space taking, lots of survivability, but you get out from behind your oh. tank shield and you're absolutely blown up. Nana Reed has not been missing today. That Nana Raid don't miss. That's, that's not a possibility, right? And you definitely can't miss with a tactical <laughs> visor. You actually have aimbot in terms of that ability. All right, you heard that we were talking about him. Just had to pop off a little bit. Show us what he's got. I like it. I like it in the middle there. <laughs> I mean, there's 63 seconds oh, left. Oh, Cork here oh, goes oh, gone, yep. Leaky's <laughs> playing uh, playing a very weird game of hide and seek with the members of Fox Senior High, and they got caught out, so you're it. And look at these ravenous, ravenous uh, vortexes coming in from yep. Gnarly Harbor. Just lobbing them in, getting so much value on the back of them. Natalation's going to win them this fight. It's fight win, free fight win. Blue Phoenix is already down to the side to admit it. We'll have to wait and see. It's 35 seconds on the clock. So honestly, the longer that they can wait and just win the fight without using any of these larger abilities, Billy, that is a huge win for them. Losing Rogue, though, you have to back off. Thankfully, you have the crutch of the Nano Annihilation to help you go on forwards. And all they got to do is weather the storm. The artillery strike finds being nothing inside of Bishop. And you got to be caught to the tail. And it's the only time you can push it on forward. So it's the time for the Photon Barry, the Nano Annihilation, heading into the back line. Earth Shatter will be stalling up Gnarly Harbor, but there's just simply too much healing going the way of their Amatra for it to make any difference whatsoever. The tank goes down, but the touch is not 
present Bishop Dubart will have to be happy with the 48.34 meters they managed to grab. They, I mean, that was darn near perfect. Darn near perfect for them. I mean, they, they get overwhelmed uh, on the first point. Uh, I mean, you know, we, we saw the pursuit. We saw the mass, the, the swaps coming through from Rocket. Rocket really trying to play uh, according to what they see. I mean, this is a very cerebral tank. You can see them actually thinking about what to do and how to make the most optimal composition that they can. And unfortunately, you're going up against a rogue that decided that they were going to be the ultimate frontline Symmetra and Nano Reed just absolutely dotting heads and getting it done. So Bishop Dubert, I mean, you can, you know, answer with your own your composition. You can go in with other things. Uh, they're going to bring the mercy to bear here on their defense. Uh, I mean, Rocket's going to actually play the Sigma here. I don't hate this. I don't hate this at all. There's a lot of uh, mid to long range poke here. Uh, and, you know, it's some good close initiation with Blue Phoenix and BTW. It's almost a split comp. So they're trying to make sure that they have coverage, a range, and when things get up close and personal, which isn't bad. The only issue that you can run into here is you're not exactly good at one of those things. You're just kind of okay at both and are hoping it's enough to get you through these more, cl more close type fights. So, I mean, Bishop Dubork, they're gonna have the bridge to hold on to. The question is, are they ready for this inevitable teleport that Rogue sets up a very common strategy uh, that we've been seeing with teams. They just teleport straight under the bridge. They don't worry about this choke point necessarily, and they can rotate on through. Seem to have changed their plan slightly after that attack came through on Starly Harbor. They're being as cautious as they are, knowing that the time will be precious and get Rogue into the mix. That's the blue beam. Down on to Blue Phoenix. Resurrection is not going to happen anytime soon. Spoxy so High don't even need to get fancy with the teleports. They just walk straight on in. Oh, the res is just going to feed Moral Charge. That, I mean, that's a quick elimination. That's going to be first point. One extended fight, one win. They're going to have about five and a half minutes uh, to get themselves just around the corner, just outside. Yeah, I mean, 541 is a massive time bank for them. And you're just going to leave your Lucio on the point. That, that's literally all you have to do. Fox are going to take as much space as they're given right now. And that's exactly the point that you need to stand with. Because Bishop, they swapped over to the Wrecking Ball and the Sojourn. They're trying to just disrupt what's happening. They needed to get back. Because look how close that golden box of victory is. They can practically taste it. At this point, so what stable point are you looking to rely on? Because that is going to be a photon barrier going up. Several ultimates that the Warriors have at their disposal just to burn it down. Bishop Dorborg Rocket looking to be the first as a sliver of HP to roll away. It grabs the Mega Pack. Something has happened now. Blue Phoenix, the one just strike. That's two. Both supports down courtesy of the Reaper. And Bishop Dorborg looks like they're going to be able to hang on by the skin of their teeth for another fight. Okay, Blue Phoenix showing up big. Getting it done. I mean, you still have at least five fights. At least five fights. But first one's out of the way. You put that in the back pocket. You say, okay, we got we got we got hands now. But I mean you're going into a sound bear and now a Hanzo. E, this is scary. Yeah. I mean it's not even that, but the annihilation too. Anytime this has come out, it's been a fight win and gnarly harbor. Let's repeat that again for their team, but the knock back the minefield. I like this placement from Rocket that isolates half of the team, but do they have the contest? The resurrection guaranteed. So Bishop, they're still on a deep playing field and actually an even better one, BTWB, gets to be dislodged from this nice little platform that they've been standing on, farming charge on their Amatra. The Annihilation not doing the job that is needed, and Bishop comes up with another Death Blossom and the Overclock. I mean, that was literally five ultimates in one fight, Billy. Oh, if I was a coach right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I was a coach right now, uh, I'd be I'd be squealing. Uh, but you know they do get the fight win, and then once again, yeah. it's it's exactly what they need. They swap over to the to the Orisa, so no more annihilation to worry about. No, no annihilation. But it's not going to be great in terms of the CC that this has. I mean, you just you have the javelins. You got the javelin spin. Anything to do with the sharp, long, pointy object, Orisa can do it. That's, I mean, like you're stunning up the Wrecking Ball and you're trying to put the focus there. But Bishop, they're still in control of this high ground. Blue Phoenix takes an off angle. And this is the style that they're catering towards. It's being chaotic, dividing wow. this focus fire of Fox Senior High so much that it's keeping them in this game. And BTWB has shown up absolutely clutch 
Uh, swapping over to the Sojourn actually is the best thing that could have happened to them. And I, I think that, that Xaver yeah. uh, is, is a big reason why. You're seeing the blue beam come out a lot more than the yellow. You've got the res to get yourself back in. And now the mine should come out. They're just going to oh. hold on to it. But they teleported straight onto B2WB. The res connection, it is a possibility now that Tamper is in their Valkyrie form. But even if they do, they're going into the backline with the pistol. They need to find the eliminations now. But the rest of the team is staggered. They don't have that tank to rally behind anymore. Oh. And Gnarly Harbor, what a shot onto Xavier. I mean, showing their prowess on all of the tanks. We've seen them throughout this map as Fox Senior High are mere meters away Wait. just over seven to be exact and it's not over yet btwb is back rocket minefield on the point they can't really get that contest and natal reed is just struggling to find the shots that are needed but the rest of the team is not they teleported to the high ground they're taking this into their own hands and fox senior high a valiant effort from bishop but they will remain victorious in map number one well i mean that's really good waking up from bishop duberg there i mean they were looking absolutely getting steamrolled and oh, then yeah. something just clicked in them and they started fighting and they started getting it done and i mean blue phoenix is a big reason of why they were there that btwb also getting done i gotta throw it out there though Xaver, i think was the reason why they were able to stay so long in these fights yep was with yep. the uh was with the mercy i mean absolutely crucial control and a really good control with the guardian angel mechanics so for uh bishop i mean yeah you lose but, and I said this earlier, just like when Fox played earlier, but you can come back. You can get yourself back into this series, and it's going to have to happen when we head to our next map. And it's not over till it's over. That's the mentality that you need to go into it with. And, you know, even if you didn't have the best start, you did find something that worked. Unfortunately, you didn't have time that you could actually work with it because of where that payload ended up getting stopped. But you 100% have the ability to turn this series back around into your favor. And with our next map type, we're doing a bit of a reverse overwatch today. It will be Control going on for its Oasis, to be more specific. I mean, it, honestly, you look at that composition and you think, okay, this is where that Symmetra, this is where more of the Brawl will come back out. Yes, that works well for Fox Senior High. But when you look at maps like Gardens, like Senior Center, and even University to an extent, you have high grounds where you can just go ahead, stick Xavier and uh, even B2WB on, on that Sojourn, maybe with a pocket as well. You have the potential to make this work, Billy. Okay, we know that Xavier has a, a good mercy. So if, you're, if we're looking at what we're looking at right now, I don't understand why you don't just go with the pocket. There it is. Okay. Bear All right, so we're going for we're going for poke with disruption up against a a death ball coming in from what uh, Fox. This? Oh man, that's a lot of damage. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What are we looking at today, Billy? Oh, this is spam galore, Bishop. All they're doing right now is making Fox Senior High's lives difficult between the Wrecking Ball, the Far. I mean, look at the spam coming in. The Immortality Field already out, and that is a boop onto Rogue, cobbled up with Rocket just bowling through the rest of the team. Wrecking Ball is not something we've been seeing a lot of today, but Bishop clearly don't have a problem working with that whatsoever. They do lose out on Blue Phoenix, though. The point in their favor, and a couple players still hanging out on the high ground, and they managed to get the elimination, Billy! This should not be happening, considering the wonderful start that Bishop had. I mean, the fight was won. And yeah. I don't know why we don't Guardian Angel out to uh, out to BTWB there, and just, you know, take a reset. I mean, lots of ult charge being forced over there to Fox Senior High. Look at this, the rocket. Uh, almost has their minds online already. This is absolutely massive, and we're swinging for the fences here. Ooh. Rocket uh, is under duress. Rocket right now just secured that elimination onto Rogue. That was a boop in. The soldier's so out of position, and a free elimination. The Wrecking Ball is doing incredible stuff for this team. Get the second DPS out of the picture. Surely, surely Bishop can close this out with the minefield. Just as an extra insurance measure, and yeah, they're going to be able to do so. Hold on, get some of that percentage up in their face. I mean, the mines come out and really does just session off the whole point, doesn't it? Absolutely yep. perfect from them. And now we're looking at Xavier. Xavier, uh, I, I mean, this consuming rush is going to make the approach coming in from Gnarly Harbor.
so darn hard. I mean, you can go in with the nano uh, and really get it oh, done. Big name comes through. Beautiful. I mean, the nano already in play. Both support opens, as a matter of fact. So Fox Senior High have options coming into this fight, and they're going to start it off. That's both the DPS from Bishop taken care of, and only the app matrix had to come out. Now, that is a great way to showcase the discipline that they have and the utility that they use. Uh, I mean, where, where, where do you go? <laughs> oh, where did where, where the ball go? <laughs> Disappear. Yeah, I mean, uh, complete, rocket? complete. Yeah, yeah, rocket. Where do you go? Oh, is rocket still alive? Oh, barely any health. Okay, there we go. Now we're healed up. Everything's fine again. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, artillery strike, ready to go. Do Blue Phoenix over to the Genji though. Interesting choice here. Uh, I mean, what you're looking to deflect rockets, you're looking to deflect uh, nanos and other stuff coming in. So, I mean, they've got some options here. Yeah, you have plenty of things that you can use. Limited, granted, with the Baptiste rocket. Woo! Been away out of their sights. Very good with this Wrecking Ball mobility. And it, it's very difficult to master. I've tried to play the hero myself, Billy. I mean, we've seen some Wrecking Ball players in the world, and it's just, it's not that easy. They make it look easy. And so is Rocket today. But when you play the Wrecking Ball, you don't have a stable front line, which is why Gnarly Harbor just kind of waltzes in and smashes anybody that they can see down into a pump. Earth Shatter out solo onto the Baptiste Ling team. Now a pancake against the wall. So Fox Senior High, they played that engagement really well, and it's going to guarantee them here a first victory on Gardens, assuming there isn't a touch coming in, and there will not be. I mean, you know, I, I think that Bishop Duberg has, has a good idea here. Uh, going up with more mobility and escapability and taking fights on their own terms. I like that a lot. So we'll see uh, what what uh, Bishop have up their sleeve here. I, I, I don't hate the, the, the Genji either. I think they may have pulled it out a little bit too late uh, to get the maximum value. And especially if we if we see Nano come back out here onto this, uh, this Bastion, the deflect, it has to be so good. Oh, and he goes back to the soldier. Oh, I love the Genji here. I love the Genji here. Oh, no. And they're off the Wrecking Ball, too. I mean, it was just working so well for them. And especially on City Center, Billy. I mean, this is the spot that you can make that Wrecking Ball work. So, I mean, they're switching off a little bit of what working for them. And the fights they did win were because of Rocket's disruption and uh, just the accessibility to the high ground and mobility they played off. But they're changing it up. And, you know, you got to hope that something can come out of this right now because Fox Senior High, they're on their comfort picks. The only thing out of whack would arguably be Mango on the Brigida. Not sure what they're hoping to accomplish. Probably expecting the Wrecking Ball or some form of dive. Not the case now, so left fear going your way and this is where the trouble is going to start. You have the isolation. You got Rogue slowing everybody down. It's easy pickings for Nano Reed and the rest of the Warriors. I love it. Oh, they deny oh, the retreat. No. Oh, oh, no. All yeah. right, that, that's just mean. That, that's mean, and I like it. <laughs> I like <laughs> really? it. Uh, what? I like it when they're mean. It, it's good. It's it's good fundamental Overwatch. And I, I mean, why do you play the Brigida here? Well, you want to go yeah. in concert with with Gnarly, obviously. Yep. Uh, you give them that inspire up time. You also get to use, you know, get push some people wow. away. Phoenix though, answering back. Okay, Phoenix and BTWB, these are the hit scan that have been doing incredibly well so far. Yeah, that's gonna start to get them places. Rocket now on the Reinhardt mirror as well. So these are a lot of changes that Bishop Duborg went back to drawing board. They made the adaptation, which is a big part of playing Overwatch, and it's going to allow them to clean up this fight. Absolutely, and I mean smart. I mean, sometimes you you know if you can't beat them, join them. And uh <laughs> Well, Mango. Uh, has actually swapped over to a Kiriko. So, you know, they don't find the value that they wanted on the Brigida, especially seeing what the uh, compositions are coming out now. Uh, you're going to need that uh, cleanse available because there is a Linky Ana on the field. And we need to see how this goes. I mean, they should win the fight off this Blizzard upcoming. We've seen these rogue Blizzards before, Billy. We, we, we have a general idea of what to expect. It may be all pretty and summary here in the map of Oasis, but everyone has laid down on their backs. It's a fast Earth Shatter from Rocky. Got so many down, ended up falling themselves the way too over aggressive, and Rogue comes in. Blizzard turning summer into winter and keeping Fox Senior high up when all looks down and desperate. BTWB. Ain't done. Hold up. Hold up. Here, there's still two DPS alive. They don't have any supports available. I mean, BTWB has like, what, just over 30 health? 
maybe? Coming into this point, I mean, you do not want to take this. Like, just wait for your team to get back. There you go. That's the reinforcements coming in. Darley Harper in for a situation. Oh, 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 oh. And Shatter, what a way. Say, ha, I am the Reinhardt of this Max Saber down. A lot of that healing that's going to be missing here. The Katsune Rush hoping to compensate for that loss, but with Rogue finding another one gear, this one should just be about as good as done for Bishop. They're going to have one more chance, and they got to regroup to take it. They do, and I mean, that's a great wall once again. Oh my god, just barely gets behind the shield. Oh, no. The trades that's come through. Yeah. That, that, that's, a, that's, a blue, that's a dead Phoenix. Ain't no blue about it. It's a dead Phoenix. <laughs> Coming in, I mean, and okay. looking at Xavier. Xavier has this uh, Katsune Rush. You can throw this and let a Reinhardt go absolutely ham. Great wall. With blocks? The wall, it was blocked. Oh no, the Katsune Rush, you don't get any value out of it. Oh, Bishop Duborg, what do they have left in the tank? They have an Earth Shadow Earther playing it down. Rocket, what did they find? A little bit of everything, plus some Fox Senior High. They were close. They're gonna have to be happy with that 99% for now and come back again. Just fight winning ultimates. I mean, we've seen this time and time again coming out from Fox. But now Bishop says, hey, we can do that too. And they get it done. And they're going to have a nano very shortly. I think this time you go nano attack visor. You look for yep. the back line of Fox and you try to win this out and take us to university. We need a third map. This is too darn good for it to be ending in a two overwatch here on Oasis. It's close. It is so close. And if Linky can manage to build up to this nano, I mean, that should be the fight one. Pop that onto the visor. You can do it. But what worries me is this blizzard everybody throws into a bunch of popsicles ideally hitting onto the tank rocket so low hanging on just barely the support coming in is insane now it's blue phoenix's turn time to strike on the high guard the nano placed on top of them it comes up with two make it a third the rest of the team though is overwhelmed and that is not enough to for the soldier to be able to accomplish this will be the overtime wick starting to burn down and down bishop unlikely to get the sustain coming in the wrecking ball for a final touch rocket keeping this alive they're not done fighting now btwb so close to this overclock billy it is winnable for bishop and they need to throw everything that they can into this battle to hope it can happen but rogue is claiming the lives of one after another checking these names off of their list the fox senior high they want to stay alive in this lower bracket the hamster the last thing preventing them claiming this victory today and there it is. The Warriors will be moving on in our tournament. Yep, I mean, that is pretty emphatic there coming out of Fox Senior. I mean, they they, they took the reverse sweep loss earlier. And so yep. they've got a lot to prove here. And this is a great way to get yourself back into the good graces of your team is to come out here with a dominant 2-0 win. But I mean, this was as close as 2-0s get. Look at this, bro. Why not, play only, why not only play the, the, the May? I mean, so good. It's so good. You don't need to. You don't need to play anything else. Just play the main. Oh. Just ride the coattails of the ice demon into the finals. <laughs> You're encouraging May gameplay. I mean, May is just evil. I mean, Me. she might be all cute and like. Oh, I can throw an icicle. If you, you are you, you're May. You're basically May. Like you're, you're, you're like cute on the outside, but then like you're evil. You have you, you want to be mean. You are encouraging them to be mean. You're isolating them. You're making them stagger. I mean that's not cool. But Rogue is so good at the May. You kind of have to play it, regardless if it annoys <laughs> your opponents or not. So that's a win condition that Fox needs to continue leaning into, as they still have a hefty journey to make through this losers bracket. Well. It's going to continue, but it's going to take a little bit longer to continue as uh, we are going to be heading off to a, a little bit of an extended break while we go get something to eat uh, and give everybody there, there in St. Charles a chance to go get some snacks, maybe get some extra gamer fuel. I don't know, but we'll see you in about half an hour. Don't go away. We'll see you back then.